Looking how to host the website for free? And stick around, I'll show you the best way. Now, there aren't a lot of reliable free service providers out there, especially if we're talking about free hosting. Sure, you can use Google Sites or even your old unused computer as a server, but there has to be a more normal way, right? I'd recommend 000 web host, but sadly, it's closing, limiting free hosting website options even more. So the next decent alternative is freehosting.com, meaning we'll go with that. Just before I begin with this hosting tutorial, I wanna remind you that nothing is truly free. That applies to free hosting as well. While you're not paying in cash, you do pay with your website security and personal data. Besides, free providers can close basically without a short notice or even one at all. So if you want a premium alternative that is really affordable, I can recommend Hostinger. I even got a discount for it in the description. Or you can scan this QR code. But if you still wanna give free hosting a shot, let's get back to this provider. Usually you'd start by picking a plan, but since we're looking to host a website for free, we can skip this step. Instead, let's take a quick look at what we get with the free plan. It offers 10 gigabytes of storage and unlimited bandwidth, making it a good choice for hosting a simple WordPress site or other small projects. Although the signup process asks for a credit card, you can bypass this step by using just an email address. It's understandable to be cautious, thinking this provider might resemble the many scammy ones. While plenty of these sites use similar systems, free hosting delivers on its promises. Unlike other sites that leave you in a pending status to pressure you into paying after you've invested time, free hosting has none of that. All right, let's kick off this how to host a website tutorial. Go to freehosting.com and click on the sign up button right here. Then select the free hosting plan by clicking order now under the free hosting section. Next, you'll need to choose how to set up your domain. The biggest problem with free hosting is that you need a domain and they're not free. If you have an existing domain, select that option and follow the instructions to point your domain to free hosting's name servers. If you don't have a domain, you can purchase one through free hosting or use another service. If all you need is a domain at the cheapest price, I can recommend GoDaddy's service. You can find one for as low as $1 a year. If you still wanna try your luck finding a free domain, I suggest you don't. There are a lot of fake services that are looking to scam you. Every domain name costs something to the registrar, so someone has to pay. Technically, there is a way to get a free domain name, but that's when it's tied to other services, like hosting. For instance, Hostinger with its plans offers a free domain for the first year. Once you get your domain sorted, we can go back to free hosting. Now that brings us to the checkout page, if everything is correct, it should say everything costs zero. If not, remove everything else from your cart that is not free hosting and then click checkout. There, fill out the form with your personal information. At the bottom, there's a payment details section. Just mark none and then complete the order. Next, verify your email and the registration is finally complete. Just click on continue to client area. So we've got our free hosting sorted, but we also need a website to host. If you already got your website ready for upload, go to cPanel, navigate to the file manager, then open the public HTML directory. Upload your website files here by clicking on the upload button. If your website requires a database, use the MySQL database wizard in cPanel to create a new database and a user with full privileges. Configure your website's connection to the database using the database name, username, and password you created. If there are any issues, Double check your file paths, database connections, and make sure all necessary files are correctly uploaded. Now, if you don't have a website yet, you can just use the free hosting builder or WordPress. First, let me show you how to build a website with free hosting. Go to cPanel, scroll down to extra features and select site builder. Next, select a template you'd like. There aren't that many options, but considering you haven't paid a cent, it's not too bad. Here's the builder interface. To be honest, it looks way better than I'd expect from a free provider. Besides, it has beginner-friendly drag and drop controls. You can easily upload images, place elements, edit colors, text, and even change themes. Let's go ahead and create a simple web page. Add your images, place your text, choose your colors, and just like that, you have a basic website ready to go. Press on publish and it's live. I'm not gonna guide you through every element and option here as this is not a website builder tutorial. But if you want one, let me know in the comments. As I've mentioned before, another way is using WordPress. If you wanna try it out, head back to the cPanel. Then select WordPress from the Softaculous Apps Installer section. Next, click on Install and then select a theme from over 40 available options and click on Install again. The setup should take a few minutes. 
After that, you can edit the website by clicking on the generated link right here. To publish and test your website, navigate to your domain or subdomain in your web browser to see your live site. I'm not going into how to build your website right now, but we've got plenty of WordPress and other website building guides on our channel. So don't forget to subscribe and check them out whenever you need one. By the way, consider securing and maintaining your website. Although free hosting may not provide free SSL certificates, you can use services like Let's Encrypt to secure your site. Regularly back up your website files and databases to prevent data loss and keep your website software such as CMS or scripts up to date to protect against vulnerabilities. Now, your website must be fast and reliable. To check this, paste your site URL to PageSpeed Insights. This tool will analyze your site and give you a performance score. The website I've just built with Free Hosting Builder performed not too great as you can see. The load times are super slow, but that's to be expected from a free service. There are some tips to keep your site speedy. Avoid large images, limit animations, and embedded videos instead of uploading them directly. Fast websites are important because they provide a better user experience and can help improve your search engine ranking. But truth be told, if you want your website to perform, I'm afraid free hosting is just not gonna cut it. My previously recommended Hostinger Hosting offers one of the best performances on the market. A similar website built with Hostinger Website Builder showed vastly improved results. And besides, with Hostinger, you can leave all that subdomain registration hassle behind as it gives you a free domain for a year, even with their most affordable plan. Not to mention all the other benefits, like 10 times more SSD storage than with Freehost, 100 website limit, weekly backups, and more. So if you want to give Hostinger a try, use the link from the description. It will always have a discount with the current best deal already applied. So there you have it. That covers my best free web hosting tutorial. While free hosting in theory is possible, from my experience, all the hassle is just not worth it. And the options for reliable free hosting are dwindling. Besides, if you're not paying with your wallet, you're paying some other way, be it security, your privacy, or your site just vanishing one day. But maybe you have a free web hosting option that works for you. If so, leave a comment. As for now, that's it in this how to host a website for free tutorial. See you guys soon.